the air quality remained in the severe category at most places in the national capital this morning with the air quality index crossing 400. A thick layer of toxic smog covered the city reducing visibility and raising health concerns for all age groups. Delhi's air quality dropped to over dropped over the last week few days despite the city's government implementing stringent measures including a ban on construction work and the entry of diesel buzzling trucks into the city to control pollution as Punjab continues burning Parali, no relief has been ex experienced by the residents of Delhi. My, my colleagues are joining from various parts of North India, showing the ground situation in other respective areas. Of course, viewers, Delhi air quality crisis. We have been suffering through the toxic air for over two weeks. Some people are complaining that they can't breathe properly. Some people are saying that their eyes are hurting. All age groups are being affected. Children are not, children are not being able to go to school. So many people are being affected by this. All aged people who go out for walks, who enjoy their morning walks are also now being restrained from going outside because of the air quality crisis that the national capital is facing. My reporters from across North India will be joining in very shortly to give us an update on the air quality crisis across North India. But for now, of course, air quality crisis continues to remain the big, big problem. We are still in the severe category in most places in the national capital. Air quality index has crossed 400. A thick layer of toxic smog is covered and it's reduced visibility. It has increased health concerns for all age groups. Delhi's air quality has dropped over in the last few days despite the city's government implementing stringent measures including a ban on construction work and the entry of diesel buzzling trucks into the city. Of course, Grab 4 has also of course, uh, Grab 4 has also been implemented in the national capital. Meanwhile, joining us live is my colleague Mahindra Mahi. Mahindra, tell us where are you right now and, and tell us the situation on ground. Mahindra, you are coming to me? Yes, yes, tell me. All right, I'm being told that you're joining us live from Noida. Noida, what is the situation as far as the air quality is concerned? Absolutely. If we talk about the air quality, the Noida is very high. We are looking at the air quality. 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 वो एज एड एज जिनको अस्थमा की प्रॉब्लम है सांस लेने में तकलीफ हो रही है उनको बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम हो रही है डॉक्टर से कंसल्ट करें दूसरी तरफ मैं आपको तस्वीरें दिखाऊंगा देखिए किस तरीके से सड़कों पर तो जो कोहरा है वो आपको देखने को जरूर मिलेगा और लगातार जो पॉल्यूशन का ग्राफ बढ़ता ही जा रहा है पूरे एनसीआर में सबसे ज्यादा नोएडा बहुत ज्यादा पॉलिटेड शहर माना जा रहा है और आज की जो एयर पॉलिटेड इंडेक्स की बात करें तो चार सौ दस चार सौ बीस के आसपास दर्ज किया गया है जो की बेहद ही गंभीर श्रेणी में आता है दूर दूर तक आप देखेंगे तो केवल आपको कोरोना जो झुंड है वो नजर आएगी जो सड़कों पर वाहन है वो कर्नाटक से तोड़ तोड़ा है मगर जो पैदल चलने वाले यात्री हैं या जो एक से पर सवार हो रहे हैं उनको बहुत ज्यादा समस्या है लगातार हम ये देख रहे हैं कि बढ़ते पॉल्यूशन के कारण जो लोग हैं उनकी आंखों में जलन और सांस लेने में बहुत ज्यादा शिकायत मिलती है वही दूसरी तरफ जो धुंध की मोटी चादर है वो लोगों से बहुत ज्यादा परेशान कर रहे दोपहर के वक्त में जो लोग गाड़ी से चल रहे हैं अपनी गाड़ी के डिपर जला रहे हैं ताकि जो विजिबिलिटी है वो बरकरार रहे उनके सामने का दृश्य दिख सके क्योंकि स्थिति अचानक सुबह के वक्त ऐसी खराब हो गई कि नोएडा वासियों ने नहीं सोचा होगा कि एक बार फिर से पॉल्यूशन का हमें सामना पर, आ, सामना करना पड़ेगा जबकि आपने खुद देखा था कि दीपावली से पहले धनतेरस के दिन जो नोएडा एनसीआर का जो पॉल्यूशन लेवल था बहुत सामान्य स्थिति में पहुंच जाता है यानी कि सौ से डेढ़ के आसपास पहुंच जाता है मगर दीपावली के बाद से ही लगातार नोएडा एनसीआर के तमाम ऐसे इलाके हैं जहाँ बार बार पॉल्यूशन का ग्राफ बढ़ रहा है और वही दूसरी तरफ जो पाबंदियां हैं उस पर बहुत ज्यादा सच्चाई बताई जा रही है मगर उसका कोई असर नहीं दिख रहा सड़कों की बात करें तो सड़कों पर वाटर टैंक वाटर टैंकर से पानी का छिड़काव किया जा रहा है वही कुछ मुख्य जो चौराहे होते हैं जहां ज्यादा धूल मिट्टी और पॉल्यूशन के जहां पड़ता है वहां एंटी स्मोक का इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है मगर इन सब के बावजूद भी पॉल्यूशन में राहत मिलती नहीं नजर नहीं आ रही दोपहर का वक्त होने वाला है मगर उसके बाद भी देखिए जो अंधकार है वो छाया है धूप की किरने सड़कों पर नहीं आ रही और मेरे पीछे आपको तस्वीर देखने को देखने को मिल रहा है 
किस तरीके से धूल है जो धूल तो ऑल राइट महेंद्र ऑल राइट वी आर आल्सो बीइंग जॉइन बाय माय कॉलीग ब्रायन थॉमस ही जॉइनिंग अस लाइव फ्रॉम मंडी हाउस ब्रायन ओवर टू यू गिव अस एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन द एयर क्वालिटी क्राइसिस दैट इज करंटली अंडर वे एट मंडी हाउस uh you know we we are just outside the very uh, you know bangali market and um, even at uh, 12 15 uh, pm it's afternoon the noon has come but still if i show you the uh, visuals um you can actually see the toxic haze is still you know continuing to engulf the very nasa capital i mean here the vehicular movement is very uh, aggressive because of many movements that happens and because of that as a result of it also the the air quality the the uh, air quality is definitely on the increase i mean with winter just pass uh, coming with the temperature dropping the air quality is on high rise also right now also the air quality here at this very place is 419 and if i request my camera person to show you that is uh, the, the very iconic uh, you know doordarshan bhavan the uh, and you can actually see that it has been covered with that uh, thick layer of smog and as a result also now also you feel like you're you're in between a gas chamber and it has been you know um it has become a gas chamber now it's it feels like it's it's a dusky you know it feels like you're you're in middle of a dust there's carbon particles there's dust the pm 2.5 is 30 times more than what who limits and this is a very alarming situation i mean uh, you know while you're there also on field you feel that um, you know you feel that air Uh, you feel that you're breathing that air. You feel that you're you're, you're part of it. You're between us. And apart from me, also the other, every other, you know, Delhi. I say every other residents of Delhi are actually facing the same thing. I mean, while they're traveling, um, while they're just just out there here, they feel that same wrath that we all are facing. And even especially for elderly, they're having these asthma attacks, asthma attacks. You know, uh, pregnant women, women are also given advice, advisories to stay indoors. And as a result of that, even winter vacations have been. Uh, declared early and right now also the winter vacations are going on because this is becoming a mayhem situation and um yes uh, there has been ban uh, put put a ban on on uh, you know um Uh, just just only electric cng and bs6 compliant vehicles are being allowed to enter the nasha capital app based taxis are uh, you know banned and even uh, 30 hotspot 13 hotspots have been also identified and as a result there have been water sprinklers also that have been carried out at those 13 <coughs> hotspots but still there is no um, respite to the people still there is this situation going on still there the problems that is happening be it the breathing um, the headaches the lungs are uh, the, the lungs are acting out so yes there are ample of problems but But still, no respite. And as the days are going, um, as the days are passing, the quality, the air quality is increasing, and the um, you know the the uh, it is becoming a very alarming situation, and the the quality is deteriorating. I mean, each day it is becoming worse than the the next day. Yes, sir, sir. Right, absolutely, Brian. We're also being joined by Anil Chaudhary from Ghaziabad. Anil, over to you. What is it like in Ghaziabad right now? से मौसम विभाग ने भी अनुमान जताया था कि हवाएं चलेंगी दिवाली के आसपास दिनों में हवाएं चलेंगी तो कहीं ना कहीं राहत लोगों को मिलेगी पर वो राहत मिलती हुई नजर नहीं आ रही है दरअसल मैं आपको बता दूं बिल्कुल भी हवा नहीं है बिल्कुल स्थिर हो चुकी है हवा ऐसे में पोल्यूशन का स्तर भी लगातार इसीलिए बढ़ भी रहा है क्योंकि दिवाली में मैं हुई आतिशबाजी और अगर बात की जाए कल जब इंडिया ने मैच जीता तो उसके बाद तमाम जो पटाखे हैं गाजियाबाद में जलाए गए का, काफी एरिए में काफी तादाद में आतिशबाजी देखी गई फिलहाल चौंकाने वाली बात यह है कि कई एरिए जो जहां पर गाजियाबाद में पोल्यूशन कम था पर आज आज अभी की बात करें तो एयर क्वालिटी डेक्ट गेट खराब श्रेणी में पहुंचा है इंदिरापुरम का जो कम रहता था वो चार के पास पहुंच गया है जो लोनी का एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स था वो साढ़े के पास पहुंचा है तो आप समझ सकते हैं जो ये एरिया वाइज चीजें चेंज हो रही हैं ये कहा कहना आखिरकार किस तरीके से काम हो रहा है इन सभी पहलुओं पर भी बात हो रही है ऐसे में जिस तरीके से पोल्यूशन बढ़ा है तो एक हाई लेवल मीटिंग भी आज गाजियाबाद में बुलाई गई है जिसको लेकर ये डिस्कस किया जा रहा है क्योंकि आज बच्चों के स्कूल खुल गए हैं तो बच्चे बच्चों के स्वास्थ्य को लेकर क्योंकि सबसे ज्यादा जो स्वास्थ्य विभाग ने चिंता जताई है वो छोटे बच्चों को लेकर और प्रेग्नेंट महिलाओं को लेकर और वहीं जो लोग बुजुर्ग हैं उम्र दराज लोग हैं उन पर जब सबसे ज्यादा अटैक ये एयर पोल्यूशन करता है सीधा सीधा फेफड़ों पर अटैक इसका होता है और ऐसे में सबसे ज्यादा मरीज भी 
जो है अस्पतालों में पहुंच रहे हैं वो जिनके एब्सोल्युटली Well, absolutely. This is one of the hot spot where the AQI always remains in the severe category, and we would like to show you the visuals and make the viewers understand what the situation is on ground at the Anand Vihar. If you could see, you know, the haziness is still is there in the air at the Anand Vihar because you know this is not only the place, but uh, at all the places of the New Delhi or the Delhi NCR, we are seeing the same visuals where the haziness is there is still. You know, the it's around uh, 12 p.m. and it's still Still, also there is the haziness in the weather. Uh, if you see, you know, the building above, uh, in front of us is not, in, in fact, visible. And this is because the AQI here at the Anand Vihar is above 400. Uh, the uh, the AQI here at, is in the severe category. And if you talk about the overall AQI of the national capital, it's is in the very poor category and around 370, which is not, you know, the ideal uh, AQI. And the situation is still in the worst category. condition as the people are in fact forced to breathe the toxic air in the national capital in fact we have seen the several celebration uh, yesterday also there there was a great news that india won the semi final of the world cup but after that also we we have seen a celebration where the firecrackers were burned in fact in diwali also we have seen that the firecrackers one were won uh, were burned you know uh, uh, before some days we have seen some improvement in the aqi but uh, after uh, now also but if we see the visuals if you see the situation the again the haziness is in the environment the aqi is above or close to 400 you know which is in the severe category and uh, making a lot of problem for the people of the national capital to in fact breathe in such a environment yes for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon